welcome back everyone to my structural design pattern series and in this video we will discuss the proxy design pattern let's quickly have a look at the definition and the problem it is trying to solve so the definition says that it's a structural design pattern that lets you provide a substitute or a placeholder for another object to control access to it all right so the definition is quite simple but the problem here is why do you actually need a substitute or a placeholder for another object if you have the object itself so the reason we need a placeholder object for another object might be like let's say the object you are trying to use is very heavy on system resources and it takes a lot of resources to create that particular object now Let's say you have a lot of places in your code where you are trying to instantiate this object and you are performing some operations on this object and there's a lot of pre-instantiation phase which you always need to verify whenever you want to use this object. So to always abstract all this pre-instantiation logic and all those pre-steps before instantiating an instance or asking that object to perform an operation for you, what you actually do is create a placeholder object for the object itself and the interface which this placeholder object provides is the same interface which the original object provides what this placeholder object does it's as it can do the validation for you whether actually the inputs you are giving or you are about to give to the objects are valid or not and based on that you could actually uh, reject or continue the behavior the benefit with this approach is whenever you are using a proxy this all this pre instantiation and prerequisite code is not actually scattered in your code base it sits at one place inside the proxy object so whenever you want to talk to the actual object which is a very high consumption and resource taking object you wrap it in a proxy and then give it to the client let's take a look at the uml diagram so in the UML diagram, the client is actually needing a service interface which has some operation, let's say. Now let's assume that this operation is very, very, very expensive to perform. And given invalid inputs, this operation can take a heavy number of resources and actually fail, which is not expected. So what we do is for this service, we abstract this operation in an interface called service interface and then we derive two implementations for this interface one is the service itself and the other one is the proxy service so this proxy service will actually have a reference to the actual service it is trying to target and in the constructor you can actually instantiate this proxy with a service of any type you want and this proxy since it is implementing the same interface as the service itself it will also have those operations in the background and we can actually have some pre-processing logic before calling the actual service in the proxy so this is what proxy uh, pattern is trying to do it is trying to pre-process your inputs before actually uh, calling the actual target service let's uh, take a look at the coding example the coding example i have written is inspired from this uml diagram so you will find a very direct similarity between the uml diagram and the coding example here we have the coding example so let's go to our service interface this is a very small interface which has only one operation called the perform operation so and there are two implementations for this uh, service interface one is the service itself and the other one is a proxy so let's go to the service itself and I have named it actual service. So let me remove the borders so you will be able to see what's happening here. And in the actual service, what I'm trying to do is actually I'm giving a behavior to this perform operation. I'm giving it a method body. In this body, I'm trying to actually invoke the actual operation. And let's assume that this operation is quite expensive and we don't want to actually just directly go and invoke this operation. We want some prerequisites to be checked. So for the prerequisites class, I have created this service proxy, which actually implements the same service interface and has a reference to the actual service. As you see in the UML diagram, we have a private reference to the actual service and in the constructor, we are initializing the service. And similarly, in the constructor, we are actually initializing the service. Now, in the perform operation method of this 
uh, proxy object we are uh, logging some text which is going to proxy and before actually invoking the actual perform operation you can do all the pre-processing logic here so for demo purposes uh, for the pre-processing logic what i am doing here is just printing out some print line statements which is proceed invocation data validation complete so whenever this client uh, wants a proxy uh, service we give it a proxy and this proxy can be decided through a factory pattern and we have discussed it in the creational design pattern series so if you have not watched it you could just you can just go and check it out so uh, service interface will have a reference to a proxy and the proxy will perform the all the prerequisites which are needed to actually invoke the operation in the actual service the, this is the problem it is trying to solve and we have seen how it is trying to solve the problem so this is the intent of the proxy design pattern let's take a look at the definition again uh, proxy is a structural design pattern that lets you provide a substitute or a placeholder for another object to control access to it now you know why do you need a substitute what is a substitute and how to use it okay thanks guys for watching my video and i will see you in the next one with a flyweight design pattern